This clip is about the Moscow system of the semi-slav defense. After the moves d4, d5, c4, c6, knight c3, knight f6, knight f3, e6, bishop g5, black may wish uh, not to enter the great complications of the Botvinnik system with d takes c4, e4, but he can prefer a more quiet solution. Uh, what options does he have at his disposal? Well, one possibility is to play knight bd7, but this transposes to the so-called uh, Cambridge Springs variation of the Queen's Gambit declined, and uh, this is not the topic of uh, this clip. The Moscow variation is introduced by the move h6. After bishop takes f6, queen takes f6, black has sacrificed some development MP to win the bishop pair. If white tries to directly open the position with the straightforward e4, then after d4, knight takes e4, the check on b4 is quite disturbing. If white doesn't want to retreat with his knight from e4, he's practically forced to play king e2, losing his castling rights. While this doesn't mean direct danger to white's king, uh, later on, after queen f4, queen d3, white will be more or less forced to castle artificially, losing time to achieve this with g3, bishop g2, rook d1, and then safeguarding his king with a further king f1. All this costs, costs time and enables black to get sufficient counter chances. Therefore, e4 is not played too often. Another idea is queen b3. By protecting the b4 square, white prepares the advance e4 in one move. However, here, black can take on c4, and after queen takes c4, knight d7, the direct e4 runs into e5. Now, taking on e5 doesn't give white anything, and the advance of the d-pawn, d5, after knight b6, Queen b3, bishop g4, bishop e2, allows black to play bishop c5. Here black develops freely and he has no problems whatsoever. So instead of the direct e4 on move 9, more circumspect alternative is e3. But here black continues with g6, bishop e2, bishop g7, castles, castles. This leads to an altogether typical position for the Moscow system. White does have more space in the center, but black's position is very solid and uh, he has a potentially strong and dangerous bishop pair. So the position uh, is roughly equal and balanced. More often than not, white simply on move 7 doesn't insist on playing e2, e4, and continues simply with e3. After knight d7, bishop d3, this position was long considered as advantageous for white, uh, mainly because black players uh, were not able to find the right setup. They developed the bishop along the f8, a3 diagonal, and only later on uh, black found the right way to proceed, which is d takes c4, bishop takes c4, g6, castles, bishop g7. Here the dark squared bishop is much more effective, both in the defense and in creating counterplay for black. In this position, white has tried numerous moves and plans. He has played b4, he has played rook c1, He's played queen c2, but none of these continuations changes the general characteristics of the position, as I mentioned.
white is more space, but black is extremely solid.